All right. Welcome to today's stream. Uh, today we're doing day 10 of the admin of code. And um, we did day 9 yesterday. It was uh, quite fast. We've been doing like 3 hours, 3 hours, 3 hours, but then yesterday it was 35 minutes. But of course it was not a triple feature, so it makes sense. Anyway, let's get right to it. And uh, hope you enjoy module main. We've been doing... Um, this is the fourth day, no, fifth day we're doing. And all the other days are on YouTube already. With the last day coming up in about an hour. Uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, no, I do not want this. Let me see. D do 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 do. Anyway, let's get started on day 10. So yesterday we were um, figuring out some numbers for the Oasis. And uh, what are we doing now? We're using a hang glider to ride the hot air from Desert Island. All the way up to Fungman Island. Okay. Sorry, still recovering from a cold. Anyway, uh, hot spring pointing in a seemingly inconsistent direction. Hot screen asking where there's a measuring be raid. Landscape here is alien. Oh, everything's metal, metal, metal grass. That's yeah, pretty metal. Oh, okay. It's got the entire field. They're sending on a sensitive bag with pipes. It's hard to tell at first. But, um... Uh, ground. You make a quick strike to all the surface pipes. J, the 90 degree bend. Okay. Seven... F. The pass is a stunning position of the animal. Okay, but this guy doesn't know what happens, what shape the pipe has. Based on the acoustics. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So some pipes. I guess we're gonna do some uh, breath first search or depth first search to kind of. Uh, we're gonna make a graph and then find a loop. There are algorithms for this. Uh, okay, this one goes three, three, three. Um, okay. <laughs> you should find the tile in the loop that is farthest from the starting position. Because the animal is in the pipe, it doesn't make much of the resistance. You have to take the longest number of steps along the loop to reach from the starting point. Yes, okay. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a... Like a breath for search. <clears throat> Basically we have to just search until we hit the... You know, we go into both directions. And uh, we search until we hit the. Um, we search until we hit the. You know, we search until we find the same node. 
How long am I aiming to stream this session? I don't know. I think an hour and a half, maybe. Uh, depends on how hard the puzzle is, right? If I finish the puzzle, I'm not gonna keep streaming. Okay, let's uh, let's start with a simple loop. And let's just write new file example one. Okay, now we are going to we're gonna read this file and let's say do print read file example one into print and let's take it for a spin. Easy D10 HS and data. Let's time it. Are you worried about me taking too long or too short? Gretin, Gretin. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay, let's see. Um, let's parse each pipe. Data dears equals north south east west. Let's just derive EQ uh, show or all of jazz. Data pipe is a connection between two directions. Ah, just run out for a bite. I'll probably still be here, but uh, I don't know, because it seems like a bit of a problematic, because this is the first part, right? Uh, then it's gonna take a while to just parse it and stuff. So don't worry, get out there. Um, data pipe is a just a pair of directions, right? Let's see. Where? Uh, let's say deriving EQ show or okay. So parse pipe takes a char and returns a pipe. Parse pipe. This one is equal to uh, connecting north and south right let's just write uh, type we don't need uh... okay now parse pipe like this east to West and these are of course not directed. L connects uh, north and east. Oh no. Yeah, okay. J connects north and west. Seven. Seven connects uh, south and west. South and west. And finally, F connects south and east. Okay.
So now, <clears throat> let me set it differently. We're getting our thinking sinking sit seating on. Um, also, I can't hear the music, but you should be able to. But uh, uh, something wrong with my audio setup. Um, but it was discovered too late to do something about it. But at least I think it's on the stream, the music. And I do think that it's, it's getting the recording for sure. Let me know if you don't like the audio quality. The problem with this setup I have is that uh, I can't hear the processed signal, right? I just hear like a straight, so you don't have delay, so it doesn't tell me the processing, but anyway, it's close enough. Okay, so. So uh, on this map, there are three options. Uh, let's see, it's a, a data map entry is equal to either ground or um, start or a pipe. Uh, pipe. Deriving EQ show and let's use the word as well. Now let's say parse map take the chart into a map entry and parse map is gonna be if it's a dot it's gonna be ground parse map if it's a uh, S it's going to be start parse map anything else it's going to be pipe parse pipe Let's see okay now let's map parse map uh, we're going to map map Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do this in the map M, print M, uh, ground, 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 start, pipe, east, west. Um, Shouldn't it okay? It's start right and then east west and then connecting south and west and then um, ground okay because I'm, I'm, I'm using the nice shirt. Thanks, little Annie. I got it from my aunt in law. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, what we want to do is we want to do a tree, right? Tree, uh, no, it's not actually gonna be a tree. It's gonna be a graph. Our JSON to see list representation of a graph, mapping each vertex to a list of its Successors, 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 successors. What is a nice way to create a graph? Do, 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 do. Vertex is just a uh, int. 
Oké. Build a graph from a list of notes, you can have a keys. With a list of keys of notes, this note should have edges too. Okay. So what I want to do is I don't want to do it like this. I want to map, map, parse, map. Okay, let's go. Um, PM is going to be equal to map, map, parse, map. Okay, so we do map print PM dot lines. Okay, and uh, this is the type indeed. Except this is gonna be a string, of course. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to sip this with the indices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, and then I am going to set this as well. So now we have we've assigned a an index. To all of them. Um, okay, so zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then. <laughs> Let's actually do sip with. And uh, we're gonna take in the zero and the uh, the list, and we oh, we're gonna take the index and the list, and we are going to map i comma over the list. So now this will okay, this can actually be like this. This will become an int comma uh, like this, but we need the uh, Right language extension here. GC twenty twenty one. Ah, let's go. Okay. And then um dee -dee 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 -dee. let's concat this. Mm. Okay, let's wait with concat actually. Um, do 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 do. Let's see. Uh, map j comma e. We're gonna map this into i comma j e. Um, so we're just gonna have this be a list of list of like this, and then int comma int. So it's just clear what all the entries are. And now we're gonna we're gonna concat. Why can we oh we have to concat like this, right? Okay. And then this is gonna become a map. 
of int comment to map entry import data dot map map import qualified data map dot strict as m and m dot from list dot okay um and now we're not gonna map and print we're just gonna print oh i erased too much here how is everyone doing today has everyone done this before i'm wondering how difficult it is gonna be Okay, now let's find the start. Uh, let me see. We have to filter. Nice. But can I do find L? Find. Um, no, I can't, right? So let's. This is gonna be super bad. Let me see. Um,. M S T Rs where MP is equal to all of this stirs and then stirs oh MP okay so now I want to find a Start loc is equal to filter um, let's see uh, start loc is gonna be so it's gonna be the empty list it's gonna be only one and dot filter uh, is equal to start mp and then uh, m dot to list and now we're gonna return the index of the uh, chords and start Mm, you mind. MP, comma, chords. Okay, and 1.1 1 .1 is the actual location of the start. Good, good. We are on our way. Okay, so now we have to construct the um, graph itself so and the graph so I kind of want to just uh, create a tree Um, let me see, uh, mm -hmm. okay, but I don't know 
the S. Mm -hmm. so every pipe in the main loop connects to its two neighbors. Okay, um, okay. So we just have to look at all the ones around the S. So let me see. Um, nays, nays of int comma int is going to be a list of int comma int. Nays, nays of x comma y is going to be. Uh, let's see. It's going to be uh, x plus one. And x plus 1 is um, to the east. East. Okay, and then uh, x minus 1 is uh, west. West best and uh, x comma y plus one is gonna be north and x comma y minus minus one is a so let's actually make this different let's say dear to int it's gonna be like this okay so now we're gonna say a east so we want to know like how these things relate to each other okay let me see x delete S nays and then let's just write west and then oh x comma y is equal to this was north so this is nay sorry horsey nays is equal to uh, X comma Y is equal to, uh, let's actually, let's flip the arguments here. <sighs> to dear, and let's see, nays of X comma Y is equal to, Map nay to uh, east, west, north, south. Map nay x comma y. Okay, now Do, 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 do. Now, actually, let's uh, so let's make a pipe. Let's make it a list of dares. Mm. And then we replace the S. This one with this one. Because it like, doesn't actually matter the order. Okay, so a pipe is a 
list of directions. And it just connects the two of those directions. Okay. So, yeah, so what might happen here, right? See, S. Um, so we have the map, we have the initial entry. And then. <laughs> Let's just call this part one already. Okay, so we know the start. Okay, so now let's figure out the uh, the first two attached pipes. So then we can say um, S and start N start N ends is equal to um, N chords. A nay chords, nays, yeah, nays chords. So that's just a. Uh, we're actually gonna not. We're just gonna not give this a type for yet. So then we can just keep printing out whatever we want. Uh, but then we, we change the name here, so we have to change it back. Do 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 do. Okay, so we got the neighbors of the. Okay. Oh, so it's so the neighbors are east, west, north, south. Let's actually um, let's see. So, how do we check if a pipe is connected? So we got the neighbors, and we got and we know that they're east, west, north, south. Okay, so let's check the um, N in map. Coords. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to see. Um, so see, okay, so first. We're going to do, uh, we're going to say. A. Where east neighbor is gonna be M. So first of all, it might not be in the map, right? We might be on the edge, uh, so we don't know if it's in the map or not. So we're gonna say case uh, MP map dot bang uh, uh, nay. Uh, C. Okay, so then we look up the neighbor C. And we're going to say, okay, so look up the neighbor C east of. So just if it's pipe. Um, X is, and it is the case that, uh, West a set dot member X is. So now we're gonna, we're gonna do it even crazier. 
we're gonna call pipes a set of directions. Just so we can do this uh, membership operate membership operation quite fast. Ah. Okay, let's not. Okay, I think that might be overkill. Okay, let's just say um, A comma B. Uh, uh, A is equal to west, or B is equal to west. So then, um, if it exists, let's see, um, let E east neighbor cohort is equal to this. We just need to bind it here. Um, east neighbor cohort. In and then we look it up. And then we check if any of them are west. And then we just return just E and C. Otherwise, we return nothing. Okay, and now we are going to... Let's see. Uh, corresponding Coresp uh, East is equal to West. Coresp North is South. Coresp is South is North. So this is the corresponding direction. So let's um, let's this is F D. And then we say a uh, neighbor cohort is this is the direction. And then we just check if a uh, if uh, it, does data dot list have like a member uh, a a bool eq lm okay yeah we have lm. Let's just say axis, and then we say uh, chorus D LM axis, and then we do a map F from uh, north to west. I think we can derive enum here. Map F north to west. <laughs> so why doesn't it like this? Zero to five. I think it's correct. Let me just check. Oh, right. I named it M. I should really name it map because that's the one I always use. A section must be enclosed in parentheses. Just write about north, south, east, west, and this is in C, and this is 
and C and let's go start N S and let's say a uh, N in map chords. Oh non east west north south a non exhaustive fat pattern in function huh oh it's <laughs> one of the most Coresp. Okay, Coresp. Ooh, nothing, 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 nothing. Mumi Jumala at it again with the corrections. That is correct. It was indeed like that. Let me see. Um, Okay, it's not working, so we are going to say import debug.trace and we are going to look at what's happening right here, right now, right here, right now, right now. Okay, let's see. Ooh, east, west, north, south. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, and uh, let's we're gonna say let's trace show a uh, D and X's. Okay, so it looks up to the neighbors. Of start, right? Ah. Uh, okay. Um, I think I just messed something up at some point. Um, so for north, it's getting... Let's see, uh, C and, and C and direction. Ah, okay, I just messed up the uh, this part. This is actually the second coordinate. Minus one, Plus one, and then this is actually plus one, well, minus one, and this is plus one. You gotta be careful. It's yeah. Okay, now we got the coordinate system working. So one, one, two, one, and then it's looking to the south, and it's getting the fact that. So now it, it, it could find its neighbors in the map. So I'm wondering if I should do breath first search of like one of them and try and get to start again. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually going to be map, maybe. Data dot maybe. Uh, it's just easier that way. Okay, so those are the ones in there. So that's the neighbors in the map. 
I don't think you need a search. There's only one and only path, right? Yeah, that's true. That is indeed true. Let me just, uh, let me just see if... So now it's a simple loop. Let's see. Let's just see what it does on... Well, let me uh, delete this trace here. So it works for the simple one. Example two. Let's see what it does with that. We done day nine. Okay. Um, just to make sure that it is doing the right thing. Let's uh, put stir alarm. So then it's saying a uh, two one and one two. But it's saying that this seven here uh, is also connected, right? And what did we say for the seven? So the seven says that it connects south and west. Okay. Um, let me see. So then we are. So, uh, let's see. MP. So we're going from 1 1, okay? And it's saying that 1 0, which is 1 minus 1. So then we're going. Ah. Again, I messed it up. Plus 1 minus 1. Okay. Now it's correct. Ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have this function that finds the neighbors of a given node. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe we just pick one of them and follow the follow the pipe. Okay, so let's just see here. Go. And then, so we need to maintain the, the current one. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we say a, uh, where ns is equal to n in map d. So we find the next in the map c. And let's just take a uh, next and ns. So we define the next in the map C. Okay, and now we want to make sure that we keep going. So let's just take two steps at once, shall we? 
and prime ns and in map <laughs> ns prime is equal and in map and prime is equal to filter not equal to c and in map and hmm I think we need to have like some sort of scene uh, thing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so let's see. Go. Start. So if I go start and then I can see is equal to case scene is equal to case set dot is empty scene of then we are we have to do that set import qualify data dot set as set and import no yeah. we import import that's set set okay set null scenes so over if we were null then we are we haven't started yet uh, so if set null scene then else set dot size a uh, scene then uh, then okay so the start one is just gonna be go then let equal and in map start uh, in go and set dot insert start scene and okay and, and then now We're gonna say um, <laughs> we need to be a bit clever about this because you don't want it to stop right away, right? We want it to go around the the thing. Mm-hmm. Let's see uh, where uh, okay, what I think we should do is we need to just maintain the list of uh of the of where we're going. Or should we Go start scene. Hmm. So let's see. So we want to take this. Uh, let's see. Two point one. Let's see. We want to take this one here. And then for that one, we don't want to take this one, right? So we're gonna. We're gonna say. 
ns is equal to and in map c and filter not set dot member not so we want to take those that we have not seen ah okay so it's easy actually We just do case ns of. So if we have the empty list, then we are back at scene, right? So then we're fine. Uh, so then we want to return set dot size of scene. Otherwise, we should have this case. And we'll go n set dot insert a c scene. And let's not make this set bubble up. Uh, I think this will work. Let's see. Go start. Ah, uh, no, it's not the start. It's cohorts. Uh, go cohorts. Set dot empty. Non exhaustive patterns in case. All right. So this is the first one. And then we've actually, because then we, we haven't seen either of them. Then we get five. Okay, and let's, now let's stop actually printing out everything. And let's start tracing here. Ratio ID. What does it do? First, it's two of them. Hmm. So which one? Did it take? Let's see. Trace show ID C as well. Oh, this is the long one, the confusing one. So we started two one, then we pick two one, and then we see three or one, and then we get seven. Um. Okay, so it's actually going to be uh, 1 plus, so we're going to add the two of them, and we're going to divide it by div 2. So this one works okay, so it takes it around, right, and then it finds the original start again. And then it's four. Uh, example two was not the... It's still this one. But it's as if it's giving... It's saying that uh, the neighbors... Of, uh, let's have this here to the side. So it starts at 1 1, right? So that's correct. It sees the same ones 2 1, 1 2. Then it takes 2 1. So it goes down. And then it should get 
just three one, right? It should just see this one, but it's saying that uh, because it's a type of pipe, right? So it's not actually so because so you know we could be coming from here or here so n in map c is actually this it's actually case and okay, map dot bang uh, c map dot bang mp no let's see c mp so we look up the coordinate C of, and if it's just start, then we do this. Otherwise, if it's just, uh, if it's just a pipe X is, then we do map maybe F X is. otherwise it doesn't have any neighbors just and then anything else is just empty list okay now it finds the right neighbors and it says four still okay because pipes now let's do the more complex loop oh Okay, let's see. Uh, you file example three. Okay, and let's let's do example three here. Eight, nice. So where's for the example? Um, then let's get our input. Do 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 do. Wow. Wow. This ain't your mama's input. Let's uh, remove the trace here uh do 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 okay i forgot to save oh input three i called it whoops Six, seven, six, eight. Let's see. Boom. We did part one. Take us an hour. Let's see how long it will take us to do part two. <sighs> oh no. Maybe its nest is within the area. Closed by the loop to determine whether it's even worth taking the time to search for such a nest. You should calculate how many tiles are contained within the loop. How many tiles are enclosed by the loop? I know you don't like this, but there's something called Green's Theorem, which states that a line integral uh, uh, around a simple closed curve C to a double integral over the plane region D bounded by C, a two dimensional special case of Stokes' theorem. What does this mean, kids? Well, this is called calculus, and it means 
then to calculate the area of uh, something like this it is enough to calculate the line integrals around them uh, so we should be able to do this but I think maybe it's overkill might, might be overkill I don't know uh, but it's basically this like a planimeter right so so it's like this tool right you can just you can walk around an area and it will uh, it will calculate it that's it's kind of cool let's see if we can uh, let's see what we have to do maybe we don't need green serum but uh, uh, maybe it's a problem that it's only counting ground here Okay, right. The two pairs of dots in the south is nothing marked I. The middle dot tiles are not in the loop. Yeah, exactly. Here's the same loop again with those regions. Do 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 do. <laughs> Does it work even though it wants to be zero area when the lines go next to each other? So I think, you know, this is calculus. Um, and it definitely works everything is continuous right but the problem is right let's see be a positively oriented so first of all we need to pick a direction we're going uh, piecewise smooth it is piecewise smooth right we just we are going between lines simple closed curve in a line on a plane Jordan curve theorem thing is you know I did it's close I did calculus back in school <laughs> and the thing is that we proved these things right oh yes green serum that was like a, a highlight of uh, one of the courses I took but we never actually never actually uh, calculated it but let's see but yeah I kind of want to it's pretty cool if we can use green serum somehow inspector gadget So we can definitely get the path. And... Uh, <laughs> so every Jordan curve divides the plane into an interior region bounded by the curve and an extension exterior ranging containing so what we all also could do is just uh, see if we can figure out the Jordan curve right if we can kind of say uh, here's all the points if we if we have a function that just determines if it's a, if a point is within a curve or a not within a curve um, okay um, let's see if we can do that so what determines whether a point is within the curve or not so 
So a point is in the curve if a let me see the input. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the point is in the curve if you if it's if you can't go anywhere without intersecting with the curve right and then it means oh but you know you might go like choo -choo -choo, okay do, 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 do. yeah it does work i think because you can kind of you know the green theorem still works in that case um so there are there are 12,000, there are like 13,000 points on this curve. 14,000 points on this curve. Alright, we're gonna do it. How to calculate, how to cal calculate creams theorem. See, it's like, you know, using greens. Oh no, her name, not her soul. Oh, okay. Just took a while. I don't know what he G to her C2 means. Um. So we use green screen. So since C is a counterclockwise one already boundary curve area. So what is a line integral? Integral. Line integral. Sorry about that. A line integral. Where the function to be evaluated is integrated value along the curve. Syllable note length. I still don't know what you're talking about. Oh, maybe that is uh, what I am saying. Mm -hmm. So the idea is basically, if I remember correctly, right, that you just kind of you integrate, right? So when you're going down, it's not adding anything, okay? And then when you go, uh, if you so that's the trick with this green theorem, right? Is so if you go down. Uh, imagine, you know, you're integrating a function, okay, and you go down. It's not adding anything, right? There's no area when you go straight down, okay? And then you go, when you're going from left to right, right, so this C1 curve, then you are deducting area, right? Because, uh, because it's... So what you're actually doing, right? So you 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 add this constant. So you yeah. So you integrate this curve here, right? C three. Okay. How much area is underneath C three in total? And then you deduct the area that's under C one uh, in order to figure out the area of D. So it's quite clever, I have to say. Those mathematicians, they kind of know what they're doing. So what we are going to do is, we're going to go from the start. And uh, I think 
that each if each time we go from right to left if we go from when we go from uh, when we go east then we add the current height of the map so then we we, re, we minus the current height of the map yeah i think this will work okay so let's see So what we want here is uh, ah if we can solve this by green serum I will be extremely happy uh, part two so what I'm going to do here is f I'm just gonna produce the curve okay uh, so instead of saying so go C case N S of go N. Um, we're not going to return the set size of scene. Uh, we're going to say not flip set member scene, and in map we're going to map maybe F and uh, F is not gonna just return the NC, it's gonna return the direction as well. Okay, and then it's gonna be flip and not set member scene dot second. And N in map is a, let's see, N in map. Exactly, this is the type. So an NS here, Uh, okay, so n in map is gonna return this one. n in map takes in an int and an int and returns a list of directions in comma int. n in map, nice. And go uh, is so now we're gonna produce the curve. Let me see. So go, cohorts, set empty. Uh, go. Cohorts, set empty. Uh, but here we are going to say go. Uh, so this is going to be a direction and new cohorts. And we are just going to say It was just going to be a list of directions that we went. Go, uh, see, no, go, C prime. So the curve, ding, 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 ding. Curve is equal to, uh, let's see. Actually, let's uh, let's produce the whole thing because we, I think we need the, I think we need the coordinates to do the. discretizes I think so what I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is just when we go down we're not adding anything when we go right we're adding that we're look at this picture I'm just gonna do this picture I think it might work I don't I don't know if it works but I think it might work and if it works it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine let me let me see here uh no, we're not going to do input right away. We're going to see. We're just going to see the uh, the example one, right? That's the easy one. Print part two lines. 
Okay, and uh, let me say read file. Example one, we're gonna print it out. Map M, map M, part two dot lines, and we're gonna print it out. No, we're not gonna map M, print dot lines. Do do do, okay, and uh, so it's a uh, south south. East, east, north, north, uh, but it's west, and then it's also west, right? So I go south, south, east, east, north, north, uh, west. Okay, and now we're gonna say a um, um, let's see head of filter a uh, and in map C a uh, is equal to Uh, we're gonna have the cords you see like this okay so I want to add the ooh Prilla dot had empty list do 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 mm, trace show ID so east one three so the last one Why is it ah? Let me see. Okay, so any map C. Oh, just pipe X's. and uh, or just start. Yes, D, and C. Okay, so now we, we, we have the full curve. Okay, and... Uh, do, 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 do. So what are we going to do now? So let's see. Green area of a, a list of deer in comma int. To int. Green area. Um, So if we're going south, um, we don't care. Yeah, X is green area north, so we don't care. If this works, my entire math education will have be totally worth it. Uh, east. And then this was a... 
y and x. X is a... Um, so if we're going east, we are gonna deduct is equal to, okay, let's make this a, a bit nicer uh, area, a, a green area. is equal to green area zero okay green area prime is zero where otherwise we're going to get into the situation where we are uh, we got bank patterns everywhere this is going to be green area prime a of a minus y x is we don't care about the x here and uh, if we were going west to the left see and we're adding we do a plus y and area prime bang a empty list is equal to a okay now let's calculate the green area of the curve or the simple one it says two And why is that? It is because uh, we're always adding, we're always adding, so we are adding because the curve doesn't start at zero. That is the current problem. I think it's because actually uh, we're not really adding the curve, we're adding the area over the curve. So I think it should be, uh, so when we're going west, we're adding all of what's under. We're just off by one. What if I just do minus one here? No, I think it's here that I need to do uh, minus y plus one because I'm I, I don't I don't want to add like the point of the curve itself. <sighs> See, because we're only counting this point, right? We don't want to count the. Um, Ding, 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 ding. Okay, this one. Um, dun, 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 dun. So, uh, we went down. So here that's one. And it adds two. And then we don't do anything. And then here it deducts one. And here, so here it deducts one. And then it should deduct again here. Maybe it's just because a. Uh, Maybe I should not have the start in there. Let me see.
Error empty list. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's the thing. Um... Let's do, let's remove the uh, head. Okay, so we do reverse, uh, oh. reverse, and then we're just going to take the tail. So we just don't want the, the last one. We could do this probably in a different way, but whatever. Ooh, do, 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 do. Let's see the curve again. So south, so okay, this is one one, okay. So south one, south three. Okay, so then we're here. Okay, so then we add uh, three. Or no, we deduct three, so it's Minus three, minus three, so we got minus six, and then nothing. And then, um, plus one, plus one. <laughs> and then we get this, uh, so then we get two. Mm -hmm. If we're going west, then we're adding, let me see. Ah, uh, this should be green area prime A. Yeah, then we're getting minus four. Okay, that's not good. Maybe we should do minus and plus, so then we should be getting four, no? Okay, yeah, okay, this, but at least this makes a bit more sense. Um, I think it might be something with a coordinate system. It shouldn't matter though, not in this case, it's a symmetrical case, so it shouldn't matter. E so, uh, okay, so what we want, right, is that it's actually this one, right? So for this one, we go here. Um, let's again go here. Okay, so minus and plus. Okay, so uh, when we go here, we want to add one, two, three. So here we're adding one. No, okay, so when we go west, we want to deduct. So, because it's upside down in this coordinate system. Okay. So, I think it's because we're kind of adding too many. So, here, when we go east, we add one, two, three. Okay, and then when we go back here, we want to deduct one. So we add one, two, three, and then we want to deduct one. So when we go 
west we want to deduct one um, we are deducting one we add one two three but then we're doing it also here okay so what we want is um, we only want to add when it is a like a northeast pipe uh, an east west pipe because those are the only ones that matter uh, so let's see here corresponding element um, let's see because like at the corners it, it shouldn't be doing anything right you Okay, uh, corresponding element DZ. Okay, so let's just write the pipe there as well. Just the <coughs> axis. So that's just the curve, okay? Uh, for the start, it's gonna be. We're just going to use this in our calculation. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Map maybe. Uh -huh. So south as out. So south and 2.1. So 2.1 should be. So this 2.1. We actually want the pipe there. So FD. Ah, okay, I was doing it right. I was just not a. Adding it here. Now we're putting the curve twice. So south, north, south. Okay, that's the one at the coordinate. Okay, and then a uh, so the green area of the curve. Here, okay, the green area of the curve is gonna be, uh, let's see, okay, so we're going south, south, north, east, west, and here we are going to. Need to add another parenthesis. And we need to say, so here we don't care. Uh, but here, we really do care. that it's actually east comma west okay so let's simplify this 
and say that it's just green area prime bang a, a anything anything axis anything else is equal to green area prime a axis and now the area is 2 which is still off by 1 and it's because we want to deduct the curve itself when we are going left uh, which means that here we all we duck duck the curve itself when we are going left so then we get the correct area on the curve this is part two part one was just finding the curve um, Let's see, in the above loop, ding, 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 day, no, this is example four, um, and we want four out of this. And we're just going to print second. We don't want to see the whole curve here. Here we get 12. <laughs> Let's see. Example 4 and 4. So when are we adding? We're adding here and here. Um and then we are deducting here. Let's just see here. This is a comma C at. So we're going to say um, Let's check it out. A trace show uh, C comma. We just print C. C C A A plus Y. And here we're doing. Trace show C minus I I plus one. All uh, right, and then this trace show, and then this. Okay, like this. Okay. Ah, uh, but we're getting 12. And we should be getting 4. Okay, let's see. What is it doing? So, it goes to... 
is I guess this is a uh, I guess it's going down and then it goes seven two C let's just print a as well here so we got a seven okay so we're here we're adding one two three four five six seven okay and then we're here we're adding seven again then nothing and then we go right so here we're deducting five so one two three four five and then we have a total of eight and we go up Ah, uh, and here we are going east and we keep we we add for all of these okay but we're gonna deduct that all in the end so that's okay so two seven two eight okay and then you know we deduct 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 <laughs> I think there's something wrong with because we are uh, because we discretized it a bit differently so I think the problem is that um, that uh, maybe yeah because here when we go here we should really deduct again let's run it for example example one simple curve then we add one three here then we deduct two here I think one of these LRJs we should be we should be also deducting so instead of this uh, plus one business we should be uh, We should just be doing it correctly. Um, so we go here and we add one, two, we add three. And then we should be deducting two. Because we're not, we're deducting the. And I think that's correct, right? So we're deducting this, this the one itself, right? We did the curve itself and everything above it. So this one is correct. Okay, let me, uh, A plus, I minus one, and then I, and so A plus, uh, okay, let's try that, Y minus one.
a plus minus one e t t t t But then we get zero there, right? Um, which is not great. <sighs> Let me see. I think it's maybe because, um, yeah, so at this point, let's print the curve also. So go south, down, and then south, and then east. Okay, and then we go east again. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't ignore those south, north, south ones. Because, uh, no, okay, wait. So I took this north south and then north east, then east west and then north west. Uh, let's rearrange it, okay? It's always gonna be, it's always gonna come from, I think, the right. Sides. Let's say that this one is west, north. Uh, and then we're going north, south. And then we go south, west, and then go east, west. We go south, south, east, east. Let me see. Um, oh, this is the complicated one. Let's go to the example one. So we go uh, south, south, east, east, north, north, west, west. Now this should be one, but this one is uh, this one is uh, this one is adding one. So this one adds one, two, three, and this one should deduct one, two. 
let's see so this one adds it's not adding itself that's okay so it's adding one two three it's adding one two three and this one's a take one so this one will be one comma two or something and it should dot two and it is doing that okay and then sample four let's say uh, run it back okay we go one two three four five six times south so one two three four five six times south we go east 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 so then we've we've added all of these and we've added all of these okay um, actually I'm just I should just do uh, Let's see here, just see uh, like this, just to see the whole thing. Um, And I don't need to do this anymore. Yeah, the same thing. Okay. So we don't add anything. Yeah, exactly. It course up. Can you try? Ah, uh -huh. minus a half and plus a half. I can't really do that because it's all integers. Let me see. Okay, so it's adding. It goes all the way down here. And then it adds 7. Okay, and then it adds 7 again. Okay, and then it goes north twice. And then it should deduct. And then it goes, wait. So it goes south, uh, east, and then it goes north twice. And then it should deduct a uh, five. Uh, wait, it should deduct. It's deducting six. Uh, but it's it should be deducting also when it takes this one, right? Okay, that's the thing, right? So anytime you take an L curve, you should also deduct. Let's see if that one works. Um, so when you take the east and it says west comma north, you should also deduct. It's showing the same exact amount, which is suspicious. Okay, uh, let's see. Go up here. 
and then we should see so we go east west energy ducts and then we go west and it's north uh, it's northeast no it is west north east 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 west north ah sorry i just did the wrong one it's going east west north okay let's see oh no it's in 26 uh when it so here it's your deduct Let's see. So it goes um, the north north and then west west and that's it. Yeah, north east. Then it should deduct again. Okay, so it, it it adds and then it adds. So we're up to fourteen, and then it should deduct. And then it should uh, deduct. So it deducts uh, six, and then it deducts again. Okay, and then it is two. So then we're correct here. Okay, and then we go north, 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 and then we're going east, so it's adding two, 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 okay, so one, two, so it's built up a bunch here, then we go south, and then it should deduct twice, so five, five. Wait. Um, south, and then it goes west. East, west, okay. So it deducts once. And then again, when it goes south, when it goes south, comma east, it should also deduct. And we're getting zero in the end. Okay. So here we're at two again. We went from six. Okay, it deducted the zero. Then we go south twice. And then we add up twice. And then we go north. And here we should be. And it goes west, east, west. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there is some problem with the um exactly those two cases. Okay, let's see. Can I maybe just uh somehow um Just look at the segments. It'd be so nice if I could just say, you know, if I go east, I'm adding. Otherwise, I'm deducting.
But then I get an off by one there. And I get an off by a lot there. What if I count how many times I've gone north and south? Height. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. I'm going east and west, the height is not changing. Oh, let me. East and west, the height is not changing. If otherwise. It is changing, so here, um, if I'm going north, and if it's a, then it's again, it's a comma, don't care, north. Then I'm going, I'm going north, it's height minus one. And if I'm going south is height plus one. And then here, instead of doing Y, I just do H. We're gonna get the same result. So then I went south south, so we went two. And then I add two. Maybe if I do minus one. I get to say, but I don't have the coordinate system anymore. That's okay. Maybe I can just ignore the coordinates then. I feel like we're quite close, but uh, we're just not getting it exactly right. So I go south south, and then I add two, because I went south twice. And then I add two again. And then I go up twice, so then we go back to zero. It's minus H. Okay. Plus one here. Just H. Oh, that was still wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Minus one here.
I get zero here. I'm gonna go east here. It has one, and then I go east and it has one. And then I go north north. Then I go west, it adds deduct one. Oh, I said deduct one. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. D, let me try something here. The problem is that I sit in the middle of an area of four and not on each one by one area. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. I think it's because like we're, we're measuring the area of the whole thing. Right? Um, This is calculating the area, right? But it's not... We're calculating like the contained area. Which is uh, not exactly the same. Let me... Let's just make it H. What exactly is this? For this, for the, this cube, it's 4. Because we're saying, okay, this is a cube with length 1, 2, right, and 1, 2, so it's a 2 by 2 cube, has an area of 4, okay? Um, so that's exactly what we're calculating, right? So it's a 2 by 2 cube with an area of 4. But it's not actually a two by two cube, right? It's actually. Um, so I think I mean green serum is we're doing green serum correctly here, but we're not doing we're not exactly doing exactly green serum. So let's uh, okay let's let's make it floating then. Float. And then let's add um, minus zero point five. Okay, let's see. So you wanted to do um, uh, okay. It doesn't yet, so it doesn't work out because it's uh, it's not it's discretized, right? So, so these columns here are zero, right? Um, I have tried. Okay. Making it float didn't help. Because we weren't using it. Okay. So think here, like the area of this cube here. I mean, it's doing the right thing with the area. It's just... Uh, it's just saying that between... So between this one and, and this one, right? It's giving an area of one, whereas it should be zero between those. Because <laughs> we're saying that it's 
like at the edge of the intersections, right? What if I, um, what if I do minus one every time I go north? Right, that also doesn't work. When I add, so when I bring guys south, yeah, okay, green serum does not work out here, sadly, because, and I think I said this in the beginning, because it's not a continuous space, right? It's a discrete space. So green serum does not hold. Quite sad though. It would have been very cool if we could have just looked at the curve. Um, so I can count how many No, I can't just count how many non-segment parts are above, right? Because, uh, like with this one, we we're also counting... Let's see... See here... We, we're also, because we also, we're not just counting ground, right? We also count, um, we count tiles not in the loop. Could I maybe do that? Let me check. Um... Uh, Okay, so we have the we have the curve. Okay. Um Now we can say curve a uh, curve set equal map dot oh, so set dot from list map second curve okay that compiles so i just want to see a uh, okay let's say uh, ignore north and south so let's say we ignore let's just erase this H here it doesn't work because we're not we're not gonna use that. Uh, I don't need to erase it here as well. Okay. So whenever I go east, I want to say uh, points where points above is equal to um, this is going to be a uh, 
map a y, uh, y to y comma x on a zero to y okay, so now we're gonna erase this trace show now we're gonna erase this trace show we're erasing all the trace shows we're not gonna care right now ding 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 So points above is it going to be a list of points um, non curve above is equal filter set out member uh, curve set points above Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, set that member a uh, flip. Now on curve above. Okay, so this is actually. Points above set dot from ask list of this and uh, so non curve above is actually points above set dot difference uh, curve set so we're gonna say if you're going left you will add a set dot size on curve above if you're going to the right okay and if you're going to the left, we're going to deduce, deduct. Then we get one and four, which uh, is the correct answer for this one. But it did take a long time. Uh, let's see. With the example five. Here we want. 10. Example five. Do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We get minus 11. That's not good. I think it gets uh, messed up when we have uh, stuff that's not on the curve. Let me see. Example six. Mm -hmm. Minus five. Figure out why you have time to search for this by calculating the error within the loop. Are you sure it's not correct? At least try submitting. 
Yeah, I don't think there are. It doesn't work like that. Okay. <laughs> so it worked for it works for the trivial examples, right? So here, there's one so that worked when we went east to west, west to east, but. Uh, When it doesn't work, when it's only counting, Right. It works here because here it like it's going east to west and it kind of uh Because the list is more. It is better if you had to add or subtract 0 0.5 binary for east, subtract for west, if it was a right or left corner before in the loop. Then it works out. You're saying the original part works out if we add. 0.5 when we take the corner and deduct 0.5 when we move the corner Have you tried it? It might work actually because then it accounts for these half areas Mm -hmm. But that okay. Uh, okay, let me then do that. We're on doing do 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 this height thing just gave us the same stuff, and that makes sense because we were actually you know we were looking at the. So let's now, let's work out the cases, okay? Um, this is northeast. This is going from the north to the east. This goes from the west to the north. This goes from the... This goes from the... Does J go from west to north? So see again, yeah, I mean we countered it before. Connecting north and west. Yes. Connecting north and west, south and west, and south and east. Okay, let's flip this function. Uh, to just get the pipe type, right? Pipe type. Okay, um...
Let me see. So what I want to do now is I want to do like this. And then I want to do this. And then I want to do this. And I want to do pipe type pipe type so this was s okay um <coughs> so l minus is plus y minus 0 0.5 Okay, let's see how it works out. So if if we're if we're not going east to west, then we don't care. Okay, we're gonna not gonna trace it. Okay. Uh, Right. Now we need to say example five and we wanna print example six. Okay, and uh, so what we want now is A minus Y. Let's see. Okay, so this one is just plus i minus one plus i minus i plus one. Okay, let's just see here. This is p, and we are gonna say. Green area A A plus Delta where Delta equals case pipe type P of So here the Delta is Um, here delta is y minus 1. Okay, uh, so we're going... So then we're going east and we want to add all those, okay? So, and then if we're going east... And so if we're going east, it, it can't be the case that the new pipe is F, right? It can only be J. So we, we, if we're going, coming from the left and we're going here, the new pipe has to be uh, connected to the east. So, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it has to connect to the west, right? So, yeah, so we're... Okay, so here you want to say it's y minus 0 0.5. No? Okay.
my minus so this is not exactly correct i think because we are going to be having um so the like one of these is going left to up right and the other one is going left to is going down this is a nice uh, format so this is going to be L and F okay L and F and this is going to be a minus Delta <coughs> let's just see if this uh, compiles green area is complaining about a uh, in the expression Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Non exhaustive patterns in case a. Uh, yeah, it's something here. PT. I think it's because we go to the start. Um, <clears throat> right, so if it's the uh, start, then it's just from integral y. I think. <laughs> okay uh, so here start actually is uh, the F so here it should be plus 0 0.5 and then we get exactly one here uh, here s is also like this, but the I'm not at all getting the right ones. We're getting still minus. Uh, we're still getting a lot of minus here. Do 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 do. I mean, it's working out for the first example, that's true, but it's not working out for the other examples. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a two minute break. And, uh, cause I gotta go to the bathroom. But I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Anyway, uh, Green's theorem does not work uh, for this because it's um, <coughs> it's just uh, let me just. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work. It's sadly. Let me go back on it. And uh, see. How was it? So the thing is that it it works for um, oh, pipe type should not be play here. So this is the correct implementation of the green serum one, but it's just uh, the problem is that um, that we it doesn't discretize correctly. So let's uh, I I want I'm gonna switch to a different approach. Okay. I'm just gonna figure out uh, which points are on the curve. Uh, curve set is equal to set dot from list map second curve. Okay. Um, Strange also that this green area thing here, it, it just doesn't work. Um, so we're gonna find the curve set. So these are the points on the curve. And now we're just gonna find a point that is definitely not on the curve. and just check if they can be reached. Uh, just check if they can reach um, the outside, right? So to do that, uh, we just do the set, yeah, like a flood fill, basically, yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm gonna... So if a point can reach the outside... Um, so we're gonna take the total amount of points, and so we can take the points, minus the number of points on the curve, Minus the number of points that can reach the outside, it's going to be the uh, it's going to be the yeah. So that's going to be the total amount. And uh, the trick is that so you, you don't have to check if a point reaches the outside. You just have to check if the point reaches any other point that reaches the outside, right? So let's see. Um, so now we need to just figure out <coughs> what points. How do you how do you see if a point can reach the outside? Uh, 
Let's just see. So if it, it can reach the outside, if it can reach the... If it can reach the edge... And it's not on the curve. Okay, so let's uh, see here. Edge points. This is going to be... Um, Sip. Um, let's see, how many points do we have? Uh, we have the map. We have the strings. Let's see. Uh, so max i is equal to length of strings. Max x is equal to length of head strings. Let's just see what max. Max x, max y. D, 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 D. I'm doing second. Let's just see, okay. Um, four, five, six. One, four, five, six, okay. So there are twenty, ten, four, five, five, and this one is four, five, five. Let me see. So it's five and five, so one, zero, one, two, three, four. Five, so the max x is gonna be zero comma four, right? Okay, so uh, edges is equal to it's uh, at one for one. It's gonna be so all the zero y's x x from 0 to max x um, and then we're gonna have the uh, the max y comma x 0 to max x and uh, then we have the other case it's gonna be y 0 0 to max why? Oh, I have to do like this. X, Y, and then max, X. Okay, and then we're gonna do set that from list. Okay, and the trick is, is that it's these that are not on the curve. That's going to be our initial set dot slash uh, curve set. Oops. 
Now let's just see what the set size of the size and edges. I'm not gonna print the curve. Because there are 20 edges here, which I think makes sense. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, so which should be sixteen. Um Yeah, it's max x minus one. Because max is actually yeah, it's like this. Okay, and uh, 16. I like the greens idea and it nearly worked, but flat feels. Phil can also travel along parallel pipes. Yeah. That is true. Ah, uh, yes. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? We're almost nearing three hours now, so I think we will call it a day. Um, for now, um, and let's just see. To do. Implement flood fill. Make sure to check. Let's check that this is exactly this example here. So we want to make sure to check example seven. Right, so you might have a point that's, um, let's say this last line wasn't here, right? And then, you would still, they would still be outside, right? I still feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know, I feel like the, the, the green idea it should really it should actually work, right? 
but the discretization is wrong. Calculate the area, but this station is somehow wrong. Maybe, yeah. I think I'll think uh, I'll think I'll call it a day now, and uh, we'll work on it tomorrow. But I think maybe we can try a little bit harder on the green idea because I feel like that, that like that's how you should do it, right? Yeah, it's just that there's something wrong with the like. Uh, oh, we should like. Uh huh. Because, you know, because there's one curve that's like the outside of the curve, right? Uh, so maybe we can just calculate a couple of green green areas, right? Um, and that should account for the difference between the three. I feel like it's possible. Green area calculates a green area, but the discretization is somehow wrong. Um, so, what if I calculate? You know, I calculate here, like the area of this cube, and then I calculate the area of the cube that's. Uh, shift it somehow and then I deduct two or I or I do something like I assume that the s is in the pipes are at 0 0.5 anyway let's call it a day for now uh, we're finished with part one quite easily uh, we're still working on part two and we I think we have the right idea but we didn't quite get it to work so we're gonna call it a night see what happens tomorrow and hopefully we can make it work but thanks for tuning in sorry i couldn't finish it but that's how it goes sometimes all right thank you for today and see you tomorrow where we will try to finish this and then do the next part i think all right good night